how students felt that these videos helped them um, to relate to different experience, to kind of lose the fear of, you know, oh, am I good enough to be in this program? And everyone else is so much more experienced. So it really became about, OK, these are some experiences that we share. These are some backgrounds that we share. Uh, they found they live in the same city um, and know the same people uh, through these kind of things, even before coming to campus. Um, and that then really showed um, when um, they came uh, to campus, uh, one of the students in the forum put it as this is really where our journeys start to converge where we come together and what we how we condense our life path um, in these short video clips um, comes together and uh, coming to the castle uh, makes quite a difference um, so it was really quite a, amazing to see when we had our opening breakfast and in the castle um, that they really came up and introduced themselves by saying oh hi you must be Colwyn you're the one with the little stick figures in the video and hi Nick I loved your song so right from the start it wasn't this awkward feeling of like, oh, who are these people that I'm now going to be stuck with for two years? It was more like, oh, I already know you. I saw your video, and you posted late. And I almost didn't catch it, but I loved it. Um, and thank you so much for helping me sort out my technological challenges as well. So right from, from the start, they had that sense of community um, that Jen was talking about earlier as well, that sort of sense of trust, the safe environment, was right there from the get-go. And it really changed how we set off um, on the residency and, and the courses as well. Um, of course, this sounds all great, um, but I also want to share some of the challenges that came with the, um, uh, with the assignment, uh, both from a student perspective, but then also trying to grade the videos, which were so diverse um, in that. And some students also just um, opted for a video that videoing themselves and just spoke straight to the camera um, with equally empowering stories as well. Um, so uh, we did a session um, uh, in one of my first uh, uh, classes uh, simply to give the students the opportunity to voice um, some of the uh, excitement that came with the um, assignment. There was quite an active online discussion both for the technological challenges and talking about you know pulling your hair out and uh, this and that um, because it isn't so easy to work through this. Um, there's uh, bits and pieces depending on your you know, tech savviness, but also your computer setup and the videos you find. Um, and so there was quite a lot of frustration uh, going on. Um, and uh, there was a lot of uh, relaying back on the um, computer help desk as well, which worked quite nicely on each other. Um, so when the students started to voice that in, in class, um, it, uh, there was actually a, a shift uh, that was quite noticeable when they realized what they'd done and what they'd overcome and how they'd overcome that um, together. So at the end of the session, they all loved the assignment and said, don't change it at all. Whereas we started off by, never do this again. How can you do this to anybody? Um, so it really um, did, did that. It broke down barriers. It allowed the class to bond. Um, it fit in quite nicely with um, our topic of conflict management practice. Um, as they reflected on, you know, how much do I want to share of myself? How much of my private and personal stories, my, my background? Um, how do I present myself to others? How do I introduce myself? Um, how much of a presence do I share? Uh, you know, do I show my face or not? Um, as you can see, both of these examples actually didn't show so much of their, their own face and who they were, but they shared a lot about um, their personal background. Um, the student ended up loving the troubleshooting together, um, that there always was somebody saying, oh, I really don't know the answer, but I had the same problem, and it really annoyed, uh, annoyed me. But you know, I found a different way of doing it, and maybe that works for you as well. Um, so they appreciated that sense of community um, as much as learning something about themselves. Because you know, we, we can all write an essay, so you, know, you can kind of do that. But this really forced you to think um, outside the box. Uh, what do you use? Uh, what kind of materials? Uh, going through your own pictures, your own music. Um, was it that you want to share? Um, and uh, one student put it uh, in the sense of this really taught her that she needs to let go of perfection. Um, simply because even though you might have a clear idea and vision of what you want to do, you might not be able to translate that um, through the technology as well. Um, so as I said, that really reduced uh, the anxiety of day one. Um, the students uh, did have that sense of community. And it kind of put me in a weird spot because, you know, on day one, you usually do all these introductory exercises and simple things and expectations. And it, 
takes time and it's more about helping the group to bond and build that level of trust. And they really came and went through all of the exercises in like five minutes. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, I, I thought this was, this was 32 students. I thought, you know, this would take a lot of time. But because they had that sense of community, they really were like, you know, okay, we don't need this trust building. We already have that. We're ready to go. We want to delve in deeper um, and, you know, put some more of the theory that we've read into practice. 